everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is another episode of my mobile home transformation series that I have going on. Last year we painted our kitchen cabinets and the countertops but we never painted the walls so I'm going to do that today and also do a DIY faux shiplap accent wall that I'm super excited to share with you guys. If this is your first time to my channel, we live in an outdated 1997 mobile home that we have been renovating room by room. The last big project was the living room, which was a huge transformation. So if you would like to see that video, I'll link it down below. My purpose in sharing this content with you is to share budget-friendly home updates that anyone can do without spending a ton of money. Room by room, it can be achieved. So I'll put the playlist to all of my other renovation videos down below so that you can catch up. In today's video, I have partnered with HelloFresh. Working in the kitchen this week, painting, I definitely wanted some convenience when it came to our meals. I work just about every day this week to complete this kitchen, so this meal kit service was amazing. I didn't have to worry about planning or shopping for our meals. They came directly to our door. They were so incredibly easy to prepare with step-by-step -step instructions, and all of the ingredients come pre-measured to the perfect amount for your family so there's no prep involved and less wasted food. I think this is really great for teenagers as well that are learning to cook. So if you have teenagers that are experimenting in the kitchen, I think this meal kit service is great for that. The thing that I love about HelloFresh is that I tried things I normally would never think about trying and every single recipe was delicious. None of them disappointed. We actually save the recipes so that we can make them again even for weeks we are planning and shopping for our own meals because they were that good. Sometimes we get in a rut with meal planning. So this gave us some new ideas and things to try and we were able to prepare every meal in about 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh offers healthy options like low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian every week. Every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. They get to you faster than the grocery store, so it arrives at peak freshness and flavor. HelloFresh also offers a selection of extras like quick breakfast and lunch, additional proteins, sides, and desserts. And they have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit service, so you know you're going to get something delicious every time. HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than meals made from store-bought groceries. The packaging that is used to ship your meals is almost entirely made from recyclable material or already recycled content. They're super flexible. You can easily change your delivery days, food preferences, and even skip weeks when you need to. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. So the theme that we have going on in our home is kind of a coastal farmhouse theme. It's a little mix of beachy but rustic vibes. The color I'm painting the walls today will be the same color as we painted the kitchen island. It's a pre-mix color that you can find at Walmart. So if I can find it, I'll link it down below. It's actually very similar to the color that we have in our living room. So the first step is to remove any decor or anything hanging on the walls, including light switch and outlet covers. I'm also removing anything off the counters that are in the way of the walls. And now I'm taking a damp cloth and I'm going along all of the walls to remove any and all dust. One thing I've found that makes a big difference in these mobile homes is to remove the strips from the wall 
and caulk over them so that they have a drywall look. I'm just using the back of a hammer to pry them away from the wall and they do come away fairly easily. Thankfully there wasn't much to do here in the kitchen because some of them had already been removed previously. There was the area above the double doors that I forgot to remove but it's okay because it's hidden anyways behind the curtain so it's not a big deal. Once this caulk dries I'll go over it with some sandpaper to smooth it out. I'm also caulking any nail holes in the walls as well. This verse that we have on our wall is a vinyl sticker. It just peels right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so that the paint goes on smoothly. I'm gonna start painting my trim now and we want all of the trim to be white. The reason I want to do my trim first is so I don't have to use blue tape it's okay if I get it on the walls because I'm going to paint those anyways, but this is how I do my trim. I'm not a professional painter. This is just what makes it easiest for me, and when I paint the walls, I'll use an edger tool or an edging brush so that my paint is nice and neat next to the trim, and I also carry around a damp cloth so that it's quick and easy for me to wipe up any mistakes or drips. So now I can begin on the walls. I'm gonna paint every wall except the accent wall with this gray color. Also, it's gonna look like I did all of this in one day because I'm wearing the same clothes, but it's not all the same day. So I just have this big white shirt. I call this my painting shirt, and I put it on every morning that I'm gonna be painting. This shirt is dedicated just for that, so it's okay if I get paint on it. And then I have several pairs of black leggings, so that was my painting uniform for the week. This just made it really easy to get up in the mornings and get right to work. No makeup. I threw my hair in a bun and got right to it. However, I was able to complete the trim and all of the gray in one day. I did two coats of white on the trim and two coats of gray, but it really didn't take me long at all to complete. 
and I also get questions on how I'm able to work with my kids so I do a lot of this while they are with their dad or at school and my daughter takes pretty good naps during the day still so I just make sure to work diligently and persistently during that time frame however if she is awake then I do have to stop frequently to care for her you'll actually see her some throughout this video because she was awake some of the time but yeah I just wanted to answer that question because I do get asked that quite a bit A lot of you have asked about flooring and what our plans are for that. We actually have decided to go with a gray color, probably vinyl plank wood flooring. We want to do the entire house at the same time so that all of the floors match and we're saving for that after renovations are complete. We will hire professionals for that. I feel like that job is beyond my capabilities since we are doing the entire house. Uh, so we are saving for that and we'll hire help for after all of the renovations are complete. Moving on to the accent wall, my favorite part of this whole video, this is gonna be our shiplap wall. I saw White Cottage Company do this in one of her bedrooms. I'll link her channel down below and it actually looked like real shiplap. I've also seen it done on Pinterest as well, but they use a Sharpie and then they draw it onto the wall. This is definitely one of those trust the process things because even I was skeptical at first. I just wasn't quite sure how this was gonna come out, but I was in love with the end result. And so was my mom and it's so inexpensive and insanely easy to do. So I've painted the wall with the same white paint that I used for the trim. This took about three or four coats as the color underneath was pretty dark. I painted the trim, the door, everything on this wall is white. 
So to start out, I'm using a medium point paint sharpie, but I end up switching to a regular fine point sharpie because the tips of the paint ones kept coming out and it was causing mistakes in my lines. So I just switched to a fine point sharpie and it worked just fine. So to make this job easier, you'll need a leveler. This will ensure that your lines are straight and level. I picked this one up from Walmart. I wanted a long leveler, but not so long that I couldn't manage it. So this was the perfect length. Because our wall comes to a point at the top, that's where I'm starting, and then I will measure five inches in between each line. And just so you guys know what I'm measuring with, I had ordered this wood grain tool off of Amazon because we had originally planned to use it on this wall, but we actually decided that we liked the wall without the wood grain marks, but this still came in handy for getting my lines evenly measured between each one. So I'm taking it and just going down the wall using the edge of the door frame and marking where each line needs to go with a pencil and that will be my guide. Of course, you can use a measuring tape to measure with as well. This was just already the width that I needed, so it was easy to use and measure with and a lot faster. So now I'm taking my Sharpie and I'm drawing my lines all the way down the wall and I will work in sections across the wall until my lines are all the way across. The nice thing about this is that if you mess up, you can go over it with some white paint, let it dry, and then redo it. So this project is really forgiving. And also I think that the imperfections in the lines sometimes add to the look of the shiplap and make it appear as if it's real shiplap. So here is the wall completed from a distance. It looks like real shiplap. So now I can start the fun part and begin to hang the decorations. I ordered a set of planter hangers from Amazon. They were inexpensive. I'll link them down below. And then the picture I got from Hobby Lobby on their 50% off sale. They may still be having it. I picked it up last week. But if not, I know that they rotate these sales and it will come around again. So keep a lookout for it. And you'll notice that I'm using my lip gloss trick to stamp the wall where I need the screws to go. I just put a little lip gloss on the hanging part of whatever I'm hanging and then I press it onto the wall where I want it to hang and then I know exactly where to put the screw. It's a lot easier than trying to mark it with a pencil. For this table, it's an old sofa table. It used to hold our TV, now we use it in the kitchen. So to tie it in with our theme, I'm painting it the exact same way as I did the coffee table in the living room. So if you wanna see that video, I will link it down below.
we really needed a bigger fruit bowl. I found this one at Home Goods, and instead of hanging the chalkboard back up here, I'm hanging the spoon and fork set. I got this from Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I'm thinking we'll be able to use the chalkboard in another area of our home. The runner is from Target. If I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. My sister had bought this for my mom for her birthday, and I thought that it just went perfect in here. So here we go, y'all. A quick before. This is always my favorite part about sharing these renovations, being able to see the before and after. Once again, it is such a big difference, and we are absolutely in love. The curtains are from Amazon. We wanted some real blackouts for this area of the home because we have a lot of heat from the sun that comes through these doors. So these will help a ton in the summertime. And we knew that white is a risky color to go with when you have small kids. So we're gonna spray these down with Scotch Guard, and hopefully that'll help to repel stains and such. If you guys have any tips, let me know. But we really felt like the white just brightened it up in here so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as I have more content like this coming up. Remember to go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kelly's Corner 12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.